Hi guys, it looks to be a gorgeous spring morning outside the windows of Doomsday Trailer here in South Austin, Texas on just another day in the end times. We have made it to Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. And as I do what I do every morning, which is chronicle the collapse of global industrial civilization while i'm doing that this what these fellows here this is what they're doing with their lives every day is literally literally working in the salt mines of ethiopia and you just wonder how much money they are sticking in their pockets at the end of each day as they chip away in the salt mines there you go so before I dive into the rest of the mainstream media headlines let's go over there to the alternative side of things this one is from my friends at Rainforest Action Network my buddies over there, good guys, the Rainforest Action Network, and they're bringing a message from the winner of, I mentioned this fellow yesterday, named Rudy Putra, who just won the Goldman Environmental Prize for his work in battling palm oil plantations all over uh southeast asia i guess uh he's working to protect the sumatran rhino anyway he is asking rudy is asking all of us to join him in telling <coughs> pepsico to eliminate conflict palm oil from its products okay I'm doing my job. PepsiCo, in case you are listening to this rant, in case you are one of the 30 people on the planet of 7 billion people listening to this rant, I am, I'm not asking you, I am telling you, PepsiCo, to eliminate conflict palm oil from your products. There you go. I have done my job for the day, and I guess I can just go back to sleep before I even finish my conflict organic coffee that I'm drinking to start off my day. Okay, from there, what are those old tree huggers at Grist? magazine what are they up to today i like these guys too cowboys and indians stage a feisty keystone protest i've mentioned this one several times already what's going on with the occupy movement i guess they're talking about moving from wall street to the small towns of America. Oh yeah, good luck to you guys. Okay, from there, decades old pollution loophole still burns people of color and the poor. And this is a story on refineries that knowingly dump on their human neighbors. Um, how many times have we heard of th heard this story about moving all of their planet-eating refineries into poor neighborhoods? Although, of course, the smoke from these refineries blows right on right on down the line anywho what else how climate change makes everest an even deadlier game 
I've mentioned that one before. Here is this company's gas plants just keep on exploding. A huge blast rocked a Williams gas processing plant in Wyoming last week. Same thing happened a month ago and last year. Let's see what this thing looked like. Here's a picture from Wyoming. That is what Wyoming looks like as we have this planet-saving gas drilling. There you go. This is how we are saving the planet with natural gas. Take a good long look at it, guys. Okay, anything else? Let's see, one more. BP will not pay for Gulf oil spill research. No, <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. BP won't pay for Gulf oil spill research. Okay, moving along. Let's get over to the uh, to the mainstream media. I've picked out <coughs> I've picked out a few here. I, I just I don't know. I guess there's nothing funny about a dead blue whale, but I did like this uh, headline from the End Times: Canada fishing community. Fears exploding whale. There you go. I guess this is an 81 foot dead blue whale has washed up onto the shore and one of nine dead blue whales washing up and now it is filling up with methane gas causing concerns that it could explode. So you can add that to your list of things. I've mentioned this story from uh, Peru. Peru security forces trash illegal mining machines. I do love these photos. This is kind of the... Uh, the, the Clive and Bundy story going on down there in Peru. This is what the Amazon jungle is looking like. There you go. Uh, as these illegal gold miners taking in over Peru. Uh, and now the, the Save the Planet Peruvian military is, and more power to them, uh, putting these guys out of business. Don't you love to see that picture of a caterpillar, one of these gold mining, illegal gold mining machines up in flames. But of course, what the mainstream media is nowhere mentioning, the reason the Peruvian military is putting these gold miners out of business has nothing to do with protecting the environment of Peru. It is because these illegal miners are cutting into the profits of the multinational gold mining operations. This is who the Peruvian military is protecting, it is protecting the financial interest of global multinational mining interests. They don't give a shit about the Amazon jungle or anything else. But anyways, it's kind of like Clive and Bundy, one less uh, beef rancher on the planet, more power to them. And every caterpillar uh, gold miner in flames is one less one eating the planet, I guess. Okay, 
I will be talking about this uh, this unadulterated horseshit story more in my climate change meltdown. Several versions. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Several versions of this horseshit story. This one is Reuters version. Rich nations' greenhouse gas emissions fall in 2012 led by the U.S. This is the latest story on how natural gas is going to save the planet by replacing coal. It is, like I've said, it's like uh, natural gas compared to coal, I guess, is like the flu compared to cancer. So, uh, this is the success story. Alright. So, what, what is this? Uh, total emissions fell, fell to 17.3 billion tons from 17.5 billion tons in 2011 and 19.2 billion tons in 1990. All right, only 17.3 billion tons as opposed to 19.2 billion tons. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about this uh, more tomorrow. So let me dive on into the regular column of news today. One story on a missing airplane today. Of course, their big story. You'll be hearing this till you get sick of it. Rambo opens fire at FedEx Center. There you go. Okay, as Rambo, uh, speaking of Rambo, uh, let's go to this next story. Rambo warns China backs Philippines. U.S. President Farrakh Rambo ended an Asian tour Tuesday with a warning to China against using force to resolve disputes. And there you go. Um, Farrakh Rambo El Presidente telling China, uh, warning China against using force to resolve disputes. Okay, let's see. I've most uh. <laughs> SeaWorld Orca trainers begin using safety vest. There you go. Whenever they work near killer whales, I, I, I'm not even going to get into that. Uh, next. Okay. I mentioned this one yesterday. Greenpeace ship to confront... Russian Arctic tanker. Here we go again. Okay. Let's see. I've mentioned a lot of these since I had my truncated version of this rant yesterday. I can't remember which ones of these I've mentioned already. So there might be some repeats here. All right. Attacks hit... Syria's two major cities killing 50 people. There you go. Here is the best way to pay off car insurance. Well, I paid off my car insurance uh, five years ago when I got rid of my gas-sucking car. It is amazing how quickly I took my own car insurance on two of my gas-sucking vehicles, which was costing me over $2,000 per year, down to zero by getting rid of both of my gas-sucking vehicles. 
Wow! Let's see. From the best way to take your car insurance payments down. Okay, what is our friend's BP up to? I think I had a similar story to this from another oil company. BP says it is committed to Rosneft despite U.S. sanctions. Rosneft is one of these big-ass uh, Russian oil companies that BP is in league with. Okay. British Energy Group, BP, said on Monday it remains committed to its investment in Rosneft despite new sanctions imposed against Russia by the United States. Yeah, uh, BP and every other oil company uh, just brushing off uh, these little sanctions by the uh, like these oil companies give a shit on these little spats between uh, these countries. Okay. All right. Chevrolet aims to make a splash with its latest Corvettes. There you go. GD, here is four prescription drug myths debunked. Last year, Americans spent over $325 billion on prescription drugs. $325 billion. Oh, yeah. Okay. What is our friend Janet Yellen up to today? She has made one thing clear. The Fed will keep all options open in deciding when to raise interest rates from record lows. Yep, I bet they will. All right, what's going on in New York City? In New York City, a $185 million tunnel, uh, this is $185 million of federal taxpayers' money to build a tunnel that leads to nowhere. Okay, here's good news for Texas. A new Toyota factory opening up in Texas. All right, bring on the jobs. Let's make some more Toyotas. D D D D. What is Sarah Palin? Uh, I've Several of the the lefty uh, groups are having fun with this story I noticed on YouTube last night. The Young Turks and others. Sarah Palin, if I were president, quote, waterboarding is how we would baptize terrorists. And speaking at uh, to a cheering crowd at the National Rifle Association's annual convention. Could you imagine the what that must have uh, looked like? All right, what is going on over there? Not in Germany. This is in France, German. Neo-Nazis hold concerts at a Hitler birthday bash in France. There you go. A birthday bash for Hitler in France. Who pays higher tax rates, corporations or consumers? Okay, the average 
S&P 100 company pays about 30% less abroad than it does in the U.S. So take a wild guess why all of these S&P 100 companies and the other Fortune 500 companies are moving to their operations outside of the U.S. Hmm. Okay, let's go down there to Brazil. Rio's Olympic preparations blasted as the worst ever. There you go. It's a U.S. tornadoes kill 30 people. There you go. Stocks higher on deal hopes. There you go. Alright, uh, it's a good thing I'm on Google Chrome, I guess. Homeland Security warns not to use international uh, internet explorer browser in a very rare move the department of homeland security issued a warning telling people to stay away from internet explorer uh, I, and i'm going to take their advice okay um, what am I up to? I better move ahead. Let's see. Speaking of, it might be linked to the last one. How to tell if any of your accounts have been hacked. Jesus. You're going to hear more and more and more of this shit. Alright. What is going on with the one percenters new restaurant to sell two thousand dollar per person meal there you go uh that would buy you two thousand one dollar mcchickens at mcdonald's you the one percenters can now stuff their fat faces for a measly two thousand dollars all right what are those tree huggers in north carolina up to duke energy critics speak out <coughs> and accuse the energy giant of dragging its feet when it comes to transitioning to use cleaner fuel yeah <laughs> No shit, Sherlock. Let's see, over there in North Korea, North Korea holds live fire drill on maritime border. There you go. Here is Saudi Arabia building a one kilometer high escalator. There you go. Well, I better hurry this up. Is there any... Let's see. Israeli forces demolish West Bank Mosque as peace talks deadline passes. I've had a couple of rants that we just need we need to get this thing in gear. We need to go ahead and blow up that goddamn temple on the mount and get this rumble going. Okay, moving along. I better hurry up here. I have no idea what this headline means. No clue. Burger King bringing back subservient chicken. Uh, I, 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 well, there, there, there you go, guys. You, you tell me what the hell that means. All right. 
Do, do, how do you know when it's time for hospice? Uh, it, 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 well, guys, I, I don't have time to go in, in <laughs> into that one. What is, uh, what is Google up to? Google, driverless cars are mastering city streets. Google says that cars it has programmed to drive themselves have started to master the navigation of city streets. Okay, good for Google. Uh, well, I better move this. Here we go. Farrakh Rambo vigorously defends his foreign policy record. Talking about his cautious approach. His cautious approach to foreign policy. There you go. Here we go. I may or may not have mentioned this in my Sunday Doomsday Sermon from Associated Press. China's lending bubble a global threat. Don't have time to expand on that one. Why China's lending bubble is a global threat meaning a global threat to the global economy. So I say bring on the lending bubble. We need every threat we can get to the global economy since the global economy is the single biggest threat to this planet. Okay... And I guess that actually brings me to the bottom of the story with two and a half minutes to go. Good for me. Anyway, it's Tuesday. I guess I'm supposed to come up with my wacky conspiracy Tuesday rant on this gorgeous spring morning. Uh, and I have no clue what I'm going to be talking about with that. So let me get on it for today's Peek into the End Times from the salt mines, from the salt mines of South Austin, Texas. All I can say, I guess, at this point is, look at this, guys. All I can say at this point is, bye guys.